I'm over here at Point Bonita, which is in the Marin Headlands, right across the bay, actually right across the Golden Gate Bridge from the city of San Francisco, which you guys can see all the way back over there. And you might be able to see in the distance, and I'll show you here in just a second, how sunny it is over there versus how cloudy and foggy it is over here. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. We're gonna talk about is it better to be in Southern California for the weather or in Northern California? Now notice guys, you can see all the buildings over there and you can see actually the sun shining down on the buildings. So it is very sunny over there compared to over here. And you'll see the difference here in just a second. Now over here where I'm at, you can see this big thick layer of marine fog and it's pretty much always like this over here. This is my third or fourth time in San Francisco and this is very common. Every time I've been over this way, it's always like that. You always see this big thick layer of fog, but if you get kind of like over there into the city or just past it on the other side of those mountains, it'll be sunny again, which is a pretty curious thing about the weather over here. Now you guys might be able to hear the wind over here. As soon as I started coming around the corner, closer to the ocean, the wind really started picking up and it's only like 59 degrees. So this is about as cold as it ever gets in Miami. So this is pretty chilly for me and Lizzie. I even brought my uh, winter hat, which I'm probably gonna put on here in just a second because that cold air going into my ears really bothers me, so uh, I'm gonna need that for the rest of my hike over here. Now I'm only gonna film the first part of this video over here just to show you guys the contrast of the weather because I was sitting at my hotel room earlier, which is kind of close to the San Francisco airport, and the weather was beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky, it was sunny, and also the forecast is supposed to be like that here pretty much the rest of the time I'm here, so you guys will see the difference. So it highly depends on where you are at in the Bay Area if the weather is going to be better than Southern California or not. So over here at the point by the end, the ocean here, it's pretty windy and pretty chilly, but I'm dressed for it and so is Lizzie. What do you think about this I'm weather, babe? I'm cold. Look at my nose, guys. <laughs> you don't like this weather? Mm -mm, I can barely talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. So I came over to Sausalito to try to make a point. And you guys can see, just on the other side of those mountains is where I was earlier in this video. And the sun is just now starting to be covered up by that layer of fog. But earlier, you could tell it was sunny over here. You can even see over that way, it's still sunny. But now here, it's already kind of cloudy. And it feels pretty much just as cold as it did over there. Normally, during the daytime over here in Sausalito, you will get some sunny days compared to being on the other side of that mountain, which is such a curious thing about being up here in Northern California. So you can tell on the other side of the water over here by Belvedere and Tiburon, they still have a good amount of sunshine over here versus where we're at. It's already kind of cloudy. Now, one thing I want to mention about the cold over here is, yeah, it's like 59 degrees and it's chilly right over here in Sausalito right now. But you know what, guys? I'm not complaining. You know why? Because that's part of the reason I came here in the first place. Because in Miami, every day it's like 100 degrees with the humidity and the heat index right now. And it's just so funny that there's actually a place you can come in the United States during the summertime that is this cool. And uh, yeah, would I like it to be a little bit warmer? Sure, but you know what? It's nice to get away from the heat and be in this cool air and just change it up, man. There's nothing wrong with that and uh, I am enjoying it. I just finished having my dinner here in Sausalito at a little restaurant called Sailors. It was really good. If you guys are ever in Sausalito, come visit Sailors. It was an excellent little Mexican restaurant. I had the snapper, delish. Anyhow, it's a little after nine o'clock at night I'm in the middle of the street. The wind has died down, thank God. It's like 57 degrees outside. Nice, cool air. I love it, guys. I actually love it, love it, love it. If it was like this all the time, which it pretty much is, I could actually live here. It's just a matter of trying to balance between getting the warmth and not having it be too cold all the time. So I feel, I feel like this is going to be my summer getaway spot. So it's just a couple days later from the footage you just saw, and as you can see, 
You have San Francisco Bay right behind me. You got the Golden Gate Bridge, the city over there, and check out the weather today. It's 70 degrees and sunny. It feels at least 10 degrees warmer than 70 because there's hardly any breeze and the air is just so fresh. And this is the one thing that I always love about Northern California weather. I love that it's more mild and especially when you're near the coast like this and just that fresh ocean air, the cooler air and just having the warm sun blue skies like this honestly guys if it was like this all the time i could just totally live here because this is my ideal weather and i actually prefer this more than the weather in southern california for the most part unless you're by the beach you know when we were in hermosa and it was in the low 70s every day you know 73 75 by the beach that was perfect too so either one would work for me but yeah, I don't know. It's a tough call, right? What do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. Would you prefer Northern California, beautiful days like this, or hotter days down in Southern California? Now, if you're watching this video and saying to yourself, Michael, I don't really like Northern California or Southern California weather. I like the Florida weather that you have back home in Miami Beach. Well, if you are moving to Florida, guys, remember that I do offer real estate services. I have a team that can help you move to anywhere in the entire state of Florida. So feel free to give us a call whenever you're ready to make your move or even before just to go ahead and discuss it. All the information is right down below on the pinned comment and in the description. Now I will say the weather here does change a lot more often and a lot more dramatically. Like you can see from my dash cam footage here yesterday when we were driving to this area, which is Tiburon, it was very foggy and it was basically almost rain. It was so foggy, it was misting in the air, but actually California needs the water. So anytime that happens, that's really good for the area. And you can see it's a lot more lush here. It's a lot more green here. And also because of the proximity to the water, it's not so dry either. It's just like the right amount of humidity. And I really love that as well. So just the overall climate up here, I think I prefer over Southern California, unless we're talking by the beach. But for example, when I was staying in Calabasas, it's like a good 20 degrees hotter over there than by the beach. You know, if it's 75 by the beach, it was 95 in Calabasas. So that's just too hot. And you know, I can get that in Miami. And also it was super dry over there, like dusty dry, like I'm suffocating. So I didn't really like that either. Now to build off that last point, let's talk about the humidity for a second. Like I mentioned in Calabasas, it was very low humidity and very dry all the time. We're talking like probably 20% humidity or lower. So, you know, every night I would have like that thing in my nose wherever you get very dry. But up here, it's much better. Like here, the humidity level is basically perfect. It's like 50 to 60% humidity, which is still lower than Florida most of the time. Usually in the winter time in Miami, that's kind of like our humidity level. So it's just right. It's not muggy, but there's enough moisture in the air where it just feels perfect. And that's exactly how it feels right up here in Tiburon, right by the San Francisco Bay. And I absolutely love it. So that's just one thing about the humidity here in California. Like a lot of people think that it's not humid at all. And that's one of the perfect things about the weather here, but it's actually just not true. I just checked the report. It's 57% humidity right now, which is basically the perfect number. And when it gets very low, we're talking 20%. These are like desert conditions. And I just think it's too dry. I, if I have to choose one, guys, to be quite honest, especially after all my years living in Florida, I would rather have the muggy Miami weather than super dry, like Calabasas type of weather. That's just too dry for me. But to be 100% transparent, somewhere right in the middle like this is completely ideal and I just love it above either one. So this is my pick for sure when it comes to just ideal outdoor living conditions. One day uh, when we were in LA, and Lizzie and I went down to the Sunset Strip and we had lunch over at Mel's Drive-In, which is one of our favorite spots in Hollywood. The weather was much more ideal over there, very similar to right here in Tiburon right now. And we drove there from Calabasas. And so when you come from like a really dry area and then you land just like right in the perfect spot, which I think Hollywood has very ideal weather, just like here, that was much more favorable to me 
than being like high up in the mountains in like drier desert conditions. So that's the thing about California, right? They have the microclimates here. And depending on the type of weather you like, that's the cool thing. You can get it no matter what you like, you can get it here in California. And that's always been one of the most amazing things about this place. And definitely one of the reasons why I'm here right now, escaping the Miami heat. Now let's move on to the Southern California weather and kind of compare it to the weather up here in Northern California. So the first thing we have to talk about is the beach. A lot of people know that I love the beach and I live on the beach. And if you are thinking of moving to California or you live here now, or you've never visited here before and the beach is your thing, then hands down, Southern California is where it's at. Yes, they do have some beautiful beaches up here in Northern California. I have been to several of them now and I'm not gonna lie, they are gorgeous, but I would imagine that your beach days up here are few and far between because the weather does tend to get significantly cooler up here most of the time and depending on the type of activities you like to do is really going to influence the type of weather that you're going to want to have here in California. So for instance, the couple of days that I was able to get to the beach up here in Northern California was absolutely stunning. We're talking like 80 degree days and that's pretty much as warm as it ever gets up here. And I couldn't have asked for better weather at the beach up here. But if you're looking to live near the beach or go to the beach regularly, then you probably want to be in Southern California because almost every day is a beach day. At least you're going to get way more beach days down there than up this way. And also you can't talk about California or California weather without mentioning surfing. If you like to surf, then you probably want to be in Southern California as well, at least mainly because of the water temperature. That would be my guess. If you're chasing the biggest waves, then obviously you don't care about the water temperature and you probably want to go wherever those are going to be. But if you want to surf year round, obviously you're going to need a wetsuit in either Northern California or Southern California. But I would think that if you're in Southern California, it would make surfing year round just a little more bearable. Let's talk about outdoor activities for a minute. So I personally like hiking the mountains and walking through the redwood forests up here in Northern California. The cooler temperatures just make it perfect for that in my opinion. And also this whole area in Northern California just tends to be a lot more lush than Southern California. You know, down there it's just drier and things are, are dying. You know, when you look at the mountainside, there's not much growing on it and everything that is growing is kind of like dark and gray and halfway dead because they just get no moisture down there hardly ever and up here in Northern California they get a lot more of the fog that rolls in off the water and I would say they get a little bit more rain too which highly attributes to the more greenery in this area and also the cooler temperatures so if you're somebody like me that enjoys hiking a lot and being outside a lot and you know when you're doing something hard like walking up a mountain you want the temperatures to be cooler so in my opinion it's great when it's 65 and sunny out like it is right now here and you're walking up a mountain because that's just like the perfect temperature versus if you're down in LA or San Diego on a mountaintop, it can be 80, 90 degrees or even warmer sometimes during the summer on those mountaintops. And it can just make doing those type of activities a lot more strenuous and you know not as comfortable. But on the flip side, if you're somebody that likes riding your bicycle or doing skateboarding or rollerblading by the beach, then definitely Southern California is where it's at because you're going to get these same Northern California type of temperatures by the beach over there. We're talking 65, 70 degrees every day pretty much. And that's very comfortable weather for being outside and getting a tan while you're riding your bike or just you know going rollerblading with some friends or just walking down by the beach and you're not really doing anything too strenuous like climbing a mountain. If you try to do some rollerblading or walking by the beach over here in Northern California, it's gonna be pretty cold 
and I think it would just make it a little bit miserable and just not quite as enjoyable as it would be in Southern California. My final thoughts are this. If you're somebody that really enjoys the warm weather and you don't like any type of cold at all, then you definitely want to be in Southern California, even preferably more inland, because over there you're going to get the much warmer temperatures than you are going to get over by the beach and close to the coast. Because the closer you get to the water anywhere in California, the temperatures will cool down significantly. And the same holds true for Northern California as well. But if you really want really warm temperatures all year round, you're going to want to be in Florida where I live because really being here cannot compare to living in Florida. We have much warmer year round temperatures in Florida than pretty much anywhere in California has. But if you have to choose somewhere in California, if you want to be mostly warm, stick with Southern California. And if you don't mind a little bit milder, cooler temperatures and you like those green forests like I do, then Northern California all day long. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out my next video on the screen right over here, which is all about the Florida beaches versus the California beaches. I'm sure you will enjoy that one too, and I'll see you guys over there.